Coming into the McDonald House, the wooden box with the bomb's core could be carried in one hand. But when it left, it took two men to carry the box on a stretcher. Jim Eccles explains why. At the clean room, they're going to assemble the core. And you've got two pieces of plutonium. Herb Blair is carrying those in a special padded box. And there's a famous picture of him coming through the door to the bedroom of the McDonald Ranch House. Lair's bringing this box in, carrying it in one hand, because it only weighs 13 to 14 pounds. For a ball of metal that size, it's fairly dense and heavy, but it's nothing that you can't carry in one hand. And uh, so in the photo where they're loading the core into the sedan to take to ground zero, two guys are carrying the core in a box on a litter. And you're going, what's that about if it only weighs 14 pounds? I mean, that's crazy. And that's because in there, they, once they get the core together, they insert that into a uranium plug. And this plug is a column of uranium, and uh, it's got a, a point in it so you can insert this ball. And so you've got one cylinder then that's going to slide into the center of the bomb mechanism down at ground zero. This uranium plug adds a lot of metal to this equation. And in fact, it turns out that the, the plug then, the total plug package, is probably about 120 pounds. And so that's why there are two guys carrying it between them on a litter to put it in the back seat of the sedan. 